Hi YouTube, uh, so another short update on van life in Munich. Uh, not going to talk about Corona, hope you're all alright, but anyway. Uh, yeah, summer's uh, approaching. I mean, I went away two weeks ago, three weeks ago, had 30 odd degrees in the van. Uh, the weather forecast is that Munich's going to get the heat as well, which was always my worry. It was never the winter, it's the summer. Uh, but uh, I think you need to get your head round it. I mean, it's like where you put your fridge, uh, as I'll show you late, later, uh, because my plan was to build the fridge underneath me gas hob, uh, going through the manufacturer's things and then insulating and doing all that sort of work whereby I could probably save it if I just put it underneath my bed because that's the coolest part of the van. It's been tested. Uh, well, it's been tested because I have a crate of beer underneath my bed and the beer's always cold. So that's the plan. Anyway, I'll show you the what I've been doing on the van. Uh, the ceiling's in and uh, made a mistake because I didn't fit a support the centre. Let's show you up there. So what I've done is I've put a piece of wood through it. Is it perfect? Well, no. Uh, yeah, but I'm going to have to live with it and I've put this on the front of the kitchen underneath the hob the manufacturer said 10 centimetres, 100 millimetres I've gone 14 because the plan is then to or the plan probably will be is to then put a shelf underneath with insulation and wasted space because what do I do with this bit here I mean that's 14 centimeters right to the back probably on YouTube they'd put a wine rack or something in there but I've got so much space in the van that I don't know how to fill it and that's it. Make space and fill it, it's more weight. Uh, insulate all that so I can get a fridge in. When it would be easier to just have the fridge. Beyond that sliding door it's only like not even two meters away so if you want to get your milk out or your butter out or something like that just open that sliding door and reduce your power electricity or solar or whatever that you need I mean the way I've lived in the van and the winter I didn't bother because the van would never got above six seven degrees uh, all I do is put in two litre two litre bottles of frozen water and then maybe just connect the uh, fridge to the cigarette lighter or take it out and cool it down at work uh, 
Yeah, it's a bit of a brainstormer. I mean, give out a lot of money to uh, for a cooler. I mean, the cooler costs the one I want is eight hundred euro. It's the Dometic smart thing that doesn't use much, that much power. But anyway, I put these little vents in here using the copper just to pull out the air or the hot air from the stove and the plan then will be is to have a drawer in here and then another space that I've probably got to fill fill it with pots and pans well the pans that um, I've been using since October are up here and uh, I cook every form of food I haven't got a ridge monkey yet uh, plates well yeah that will probably be the most thing to make some storage is plates and that anyway food tonight baked camembert and this is for Michael shallots, avocado, mushrooms, uh, hollandaise sauce and prawns and uh, I might go against the system and uh, whack a bit of parmesan over the top Yeah, so living the van life, you don't need to open tins all the time. I read a little blick out the van and say goodbye for tonight. Uh, yeah, take care. I suppose I should say like a YouTuber, please subscribe. Please leave a comment, but, uh, well, anyway, bye.